Okay, so buffers prepared by adding this to this. You know it's a buffer because it's a uh, acid with its weak conjugate base. They're both weak, has to be a buffer. They want you to find pH. We're basically telling you, begging you to use Henderson Hasselbach here. So pH equals pKa plus the log of the base over the acid. So we just need to find all these components. Uh, so let's start with Kb. Uh, you can do this several ways, but uh, we want to find pKa. We have Kb, so if we go pKb first, that's the negative log of Kb, which is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. I think that's 4.74. And then Ka, uh, pK is 14 minus pKb, which is going to be, uh, what is that, 9.26. Okay, so there's uh, pKa. Check. First one. Next, uh, let's see. Now we've got to find the concentration of the base and the acid. Uh, well, the base, fantastic, given. Okay, done with that. Next is the acid. So the acid, this one's going to be a little bit more work. The concentration of the acid is really going to be the concentration of NH4+, because that's the acid. You've just got to change grams uh, into a volume unit. So let's start off with 4.8 grams of this. Let's change this to moles. They give us the molar mass. It's 132.14 grams per mole. And then now that's moles of the whole complex, but I need moles of NH4+. Plus. So I've got one mole of, or not one mole, two moles of NH4+, plus for every one mole of ammonium sulfate. So now I've got moles of NH4+. Plus. What do I need to do with that? Yeah, divide by the total volume. Oops. Well, it has the volume of this. We're assuming that adding the original stuff doesn't change the volume at all. So we want to divide by 425 milliliters or 0 0.425 liters. Uh, which gives you 17, no, is that right? No, point, 0 0.17 molar for the acid. And this number goes right there into the A. And you already got uh, pKa. This goes right there. Uh, yes? Um, I got a different answer because I think in the solutions they convert it from moles to millimoles. And I didn't really understand why they did that. Because when you like do it the way you have it written there, you get 1.719. Um, you should still get the same answer. Uh, if there could be a mistake in the key, I don't know. Uh, if it is, then whatever you get, that's totally fine. But uh, they converted, you either convert the milliliters to liters, or you leave it milliliters and convert the moles to millimoles. Either way, You'll, you better come up with the same answer. So if there was a mathematical mistake, then yeah, that's definitely wrong. Let's see, make sure I, well, I think I wrote down everything correctly. So yeah, if this is 1.7, then that's totally fine. Then the key may be wrong, so just be careful about that.